Greetings everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K and this game is called Deep Strike, published by Jarrell Software in 1986. It's a shooter, well it's a flight simulation I think, so I'm going to be in a bit of trouble here, maybe. Uh, also come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. It involves machine guns and bomb dropping, but essentially you're controlling a World War I fighter craft and you must protect and guide four bombers as we try and do our controls here to take out an enemy fuel dump let's do these and then you must land and refuel if you can do to take off to go for another mission as soon as all your bombers are destroyed then that's the game over uh, your bomber will fly directly in front of you so try not to hit that with your machine guns uh, if that one's taken out one of your reserve people will then take the lead by pressing M you'll get your map and you have to um, look at your compass there, the arrow in the middle, and try and keep that facing forward, which I might do, I might not. So let's take up, uh, take off. There's two propellers you can see either side. There's cyan on the left. The state of that represents the, the, um, the power of my plane, and the green one on the right represents what the craft like in front of me. Right, so that's an enemy craft, that red one. So let's shoot that. Get that out of the way. Now, hopefully one of my bombers should um, fly in front of me in a moment, and I need to protect them. There it is. So that's that black one. Don't hit that. The red, the red planes are trying to take out my crew. Oh man, you'll come up then drop bombs like that right now. You'll come up. Oh dear, I think I might shot my own person there. You will have to navigate round hills, around enemy um, in guns, and and also hills. Did I say hills before? Yeah. Anyway, it's the frame rate isn't great, but it's doing a lot there on the ground. Come on, come on, team. We can do this thing now. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. It's not the sort of game I would have bought or gone for, but it's very, very clever. We're protecting the bombers. Don't hit that plane directly in front of you. Right, I've taken that red one out. That's good. So that's them, them kaboomed. Round this hill we go. Have a look on the arrow. There's a yellow arrow down the middle of the screen. We need to keep that point in forward. See my red planes there on the map. That's what bombers I've got left. So one of them has been taken out. It's me and um, my rest of my crew. Oh man, now if you survive long enough, you will come up to uh, enemy fuel depot or you must bomb the hell out of that thing to then suddenly save the day. 1986, Jarrell Software. I don't review too many of these games, but I think there's a few of them um, out there. Right. Is it fun? Well, sort of, but I'm getting a bit scared here. So there's basically not too many controls. There's um, machine guns, which is my plane here. If I hit the bomb button, my bomber in front like that will drop a bomb on hopefully something. Uh, left and right, you know that left and right button on planes, and up and down, you know, the up and down button on planes. Well, there's a hill there. So we've got a varied terrain. It's, well, you know, it's, the Spectrum's doing a lot here, so this is, imp is impressive for 48K. Remember, 1986. Away we go. Oh, man. Right, so, my propeller, the cyan propeller on the bottom left there, on the dashboard, is looking a bit of bit um, shaved, so that's my powers. And there's a the green one on the right, it's looking a bit shredded as well. As I say, you've got four bombers you must protect. If one gets blown up, the next one then takes the lead, and you just need to guide them to the target uh, to get to the end. So a bit like Luke Skywalker defending all his crew on the Dev Star, but they didn't do a very good job because they all got killed, didn't they? Did it cover me, Biggs? Um, who's the one that didn't get killed? I don't know. Wedge Antilles. Yeah, anyway. So we need Wedge Antilles here. Imagine that this had a Star Wars skin and we were flying towards the Death Star or some at ats It'd be pretty good. If there's a way of speeding this up, I think this game would be super cool. But for the era, I think that's acceptable. If you stray too far off the direction you should be going, you'll see more enemy planes until you'll eventually be swamped by ground emplacements and the like. Looks like the game it takes a little while to complete because we're going up the map extremely slowly. I don't think you can crash into the ground, but we won't risk it. When you go low, oh, there's a barrage balloons there. When you go low, it's all about landing. And landing planes is always a bit tricky. Um, when it comes to flying games, I prefer games like Cyclone and TLL that we also reviewed. Uh, previously, just checking the map there. These barrels balloons are a problem, so we need to fly around those. Don't crash into a balloon, my wonderful balloon. So, you know, if you do crash into them, generally it's game over. Game over, dude. Oh, get through those, can we? 
Oh, oh well, I shot one balloon, but then uh, my my fighter crashed into the other one. Have we got any? Have we got any left? Have we got any bombers left that can take the lead? Go to the front. There's one. Right, they go to the lead, so they now assume the lead position. Stay on the leader. Forward, forward, forward. Bombing nothing in particular. You see the amount of bombs we got, I think, on the right there next to the green propeller. The blue propeller is me, so I'm not looking very good at the moment. Green propeller on the right, that's my uh, my person in front of me. Right. So he's, he's faring a lot better than me. My plane's in big trouble uh, taking lots of enemy fire. We're halfway up the map there. You see the fuel depot up the top there, those, those three cylindrical things. So about halfway to our um, destination. Oops, and there's another one gone. If you completed this in the day, then let me know what happens at the end. All I know is, once you've bombed the um, the base, you need to land and refuel. I expect you have to do the same mission over and over again, but I don't know. It might give you a victory sequence. It might be okay there. Now, if you're watching these live as they go up, it is Saturday, and we did do another uh, video today. We always do about two ZX Spectrum games um, on a Saturday. So take a look at that one. Super duper, uber cool. That was Speed Jewel, that one. There we go. There we go, there we go. Right, so we're, oh look, we're halfway up the map, I've only got one bomber left. There's only one bomber left. And that's probably me, isn't it? Right. So, uh, yeah, it is just me. I'm the only one left. My propeller looks like an inch long. I don't know how it's still flying, my propeller looking that bad. But never mind. We've got lots of fuel left. You, you can run out of fuel if you stray too far off going directly north. Oh, I'm dead. I've kaboomed. Shield your eyes, people. I've kaboomed it. Your score of 2,600 is in the Deep Strikers world. Uh, written by Nick Wilson, this one. We'll have, we'll have one last go, see how far we can get. I might stray off a bit of the uh, the north to see how bad it actually gets. You can change your skill level, but we'll keep it the same. It's World War One. It's a goodies against the baddies. Off we go. Durell Software, 1986. Bit of, a, bit of an odd take off here. And now, all of a sudden, you can see the player looks a lot bigger, in a much better fashion. Taking off is fairly easy, you can't mess that up. And we're on a grid. So take out these red ones, they're onto us straight away, the hoodlums. Right. Come on. Oh, don't shoot your own plane. That's them taken out. Good. And there's the map. So there's my crew there at the bottom. I'm I'm behind those four. Away we go. Bom ba ba bom 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 ba ba bom 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 ba ba bom 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 ba ba bom. Come on, we can do it. Chocks away in our sort of like biplane. Don't oh man, I'm shooting my own person here. Bomb, kaboom it. So this is what like uh, flying in World War One was like, I suppose. So this is kind of like a simulator. You'll never see any clouds in the sky. It's cyan. We don't get changing weather conditions. It's not that advanced. Now you see on the bottom middle there, we've completely veered off going uh, north. You see. Uh, I've done that on purpose, so I think we get more people attacking us when we do that. But who cares? Let's do it the hard way. There's the hard way. Whoops, that's taken them out round this hill. Don't bash into that. Cyan propeller's taking a little bit of damage. Right, so we've, we've got need to go... We've drifted uh, to like left of that river. I'd imagine there's some pokes here for infinite damage, and then you can just fly to the end, but I'm not using that on this occasion. Crazy stuff, so we need to... If I was doing this properly, I need to get to go left a bit to ideally get this uh, compass point pacing north again, because we're straying off the map. Look at the amount of uh, ground emplacement now attacking my my uh, bomber plane. Right, we'll pass that initial one. Oh, it's a strange terrain. It's a strange terrain. Uh. Right, these lots of we're attacked by lots of red maxes. If you are a World War One fighter ace, then comment below. I guess you must be a hundred and twenty-two or something like that. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Forty-eight k might move quicker than one hundred twenty-eight k. I do not know, but a good, good bit of border flashing as well. That's a good effect. And we've lost, we've lost another bomber straight away. Come on, team. Come on. Oh, there's, oh dear, did I just shoot my own person? Let's just say I didn't. I didn't, I'm radioing back to base. I've just got one fighter left. We're only about, well, I don't know, a quarter of the way up the map this time. Uh, we got to the barrage balloons last time. But we we're doing it the hard way. Just one fighter left to bomb the enemy depot. 
Maybe we should have um, gone by car. This is a bit obvious this way. Oh, we've, we've been kaboomed again. We've been kaboomed again. Well, it's really clever, this game, uh, the way it animates. It's a good idea, and I think I would have played it quite a bit back in the day until I completed it, at least. Yeah, good. I recommend tracking this uh, one down. Not sure how many times I'll play it again, to be fair, but it's very clever and got to admire it for what it's doing. So, hope you like having a look at that one. That was Deep Strike on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Jarrell Software in 1986. Put in comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.